everyone, it's Kira Lynn, and right now I'm here backstage at The Voice with the top 11 contestants are singing songs tonight that were picked by their fans. Let's take a first look. Give me a little tenderness, man. Ooh, try a little tenderness. <laughs> yeah, what is it like for you guys watching each other on stage perform? I mean, I know what it's like back here in the press room because a lot of us are up dancing, clapping. You guys don't, but what are you guys doing while each other is on stage? Same thing. Same thing. Uh, oh, we're yeah. backstage doing watching. Like a proud mama. Right. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. Like, just just cheering everybody on. Like, this is like we are oh, all yeah. like a big Literally. family. We've lived together for like the last few months, so we've all grown to love and support each other. And we're all here, you know, at this point, and we just all gotta root each other on. Like mm -hmm. at this yeah. point, we're at the top twelve. It's not a, it's not in anyone else's hands but America's. So right. yeah. we just gotta root everybody on and. You know, everybody's super great. When you guys found out what songs you guys were performing, what did you feel, you know, when you finally realized, oh, wow, this is, I mean, tonight you took on a, a monster song as well. <laughs> yeah, it was, when I saw that You and I was my song, I was so excited. I, like, was dancing around. I'm like, I have so many ideas for this right now. And I was, I honestly couldn't wait to get into the rehearsal and be like, I have ideas. Like, I'm ready. And I was, I was, like, so happy that the fans chose it for me. Were you, were you at all surprised about your fan choice? You know, I, I was surprised in a good way um, because I've, all, I've always loved that song and I've, I really wanted to do that song at some point because I've just always loved it and always loved performing it. And I was surprised in a good way because it just happened to shake out in a, in a really good way for me. So, Tell me what your first thoughts were when you found out what song you guys were actually going to perform tonight. I was excited. They picked a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it's really nice to know that they know you and know your direction and your vibe and it's just it's nice that they can confirm everything you've been doing and so I had a great time. I mean it's perfectly said you know we're all happy to be here and that like the songs that they're chosen for us it's uh, it feels good you know yeah. they all they all watch the show and they know who you are as a person mm -hmm. and uh, it's very nice to get a song that you're familiar with or an artist that you're familiar with or genre that you're familiar with. Yep. It's like, I can do this and I have no problem with it. It really takes any of the nerves away that you have. It's like, okay, I, this is this is no problem. Ditto, 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 ditto. Yeah, man. The fans know us. I appreciate it. What, what has changed in your performance or maybe even your mindset from the first, first night of the lives till tonight? Has anything changed for you? I think, um, like I said, the longer I'm here, the more I realize this is what I'm supposed to do. And so you kind of have this confidence that comes out because you're, you're more bold about like, I'm, I'm sure this is what I'm supposed to do. And so that helps. I still get nervous, but that confidence is, you know, I, it's, a, it's amazing. And, and the more that you grow in it, the more you become like aware of yourself and comfortable with yourself on stage. You know, I'm the type of person that coming into this, anytime I perform, um, I have this like bubble of thought that's like all my insecurities in this one bubble. And before I hit a note, I go through that bubble and then my note comes out. Like I really get so, I'm an overthinker. That's totally me. But the more I'm here, the more that that bubble's starting to burst and kind of chip away and realize that it's not about what I have to think about. It's honestly, people see something in me and I have to realize that if I want to be a true performer, a true artist, I have to get rid of that bubble because what I'm doing is already good enough. I'm Bryn Cartelli. I'm Caleb Lee. We're Team Kelly. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Hollywood, Hollywood First, First Look, Look features. features. That was good. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs>